We'll make a pact. I won't phone you up. So, connection six this week. Um, let me read out the words that we had. And remember, there are 16 words and they're grouped into four groups of four words in each group. Okay, so when I post up the puzzle, they're just a mixture of 16 words. Your mission, should you choose to accept it, is to sort the words into the groups, okay? And for that, you've got to figure out what the themes are first. So the mixed up words were popcorn, guitar, doctor, rose, violin, tulip, surgery, actor, nurse, saxophone, daisy, director, piano, ticket, ward, lily. Somebody contacted me and said, I should ask you to write a short story using all those words. I'm not going to do that, okay? <laughs> Nice idea. Thank you for sharing ideas, but I'm not going to do it. OK, Samira was the first person, but Samira's not here. So, Jams, can you see the um, text? Yeah, I yeah? can see. OK, so you'll notice that a lot of them are greyed out. That's called a spoiler. It stops you from spoiling the end of a movie or a film. You have to click on it if you want to see what's behind okay so if you click on what okay. samira said could you read out what they wrote in the blank dot um yeah if you if you look he starts with popcorn yeah can you see it i can i okay. can post yeah yeah so if you just read out the words he wrote i wrote no samira Samira, okay. The, fir the popcorn. first popcorn. Ah, that's it. Yeah, good. Popcorn, actor, director, ticket. These are cinema. Mm -hmm. Carry on. Popcorn, actor, director, ticket. These are all cinema. Mm -hmm. And the next line? Guitar, violin, saxophone. Piano. These are music instruments. Mm -hmm. Carry on. Next, doctor, surgery, nurse, ward. These are all related to hospital. Good. Next one, rose, tulip, daisy, and lily. These are all flowers names. Yeah, the names of flowers. Good. <laughs> I would say flower names or the names of flowers. Um, just one word, tulip, but Americans do say tulip. <laughs> if you say tulip to me, I think of two lips. Mm. Uh, but tulip is how we say it in British English. Okay. So, well Wait, done, Samira. Can you say that again? They're both? Can you say both again? Because I didn't catch it. Very okay. Well. Tulip. Which one? Okay. And tulip. Okay, so tulip. I will, I will go with the, I will go with the first. That yeah. sounds more natural to me <laughs> than the first one. Um, it depends on the English you've been brought up with, but American, so uh, North American English, the pronunciation is like, um, yeah, so tulip sounds like, hang on, uh, where's my ear emoji? Here he is. Sounds like two lip. <laughs> two lip. Yeah, but I say tulip. Uh, okay. And the song. Tulips right. from Amsterdam. When it's spring again, I'll bring again. Tulip. Anyway, let's not go into karaoke. So the next person to read was Paulette. Paulette, could you read out what you wrote? Yes. Popcorn director ticket actors are connected with cinemas guitar violin saxophone piano are all connected as musical instruments nurse doctor surgery ward are mm -hmm. all connected with hospitals rose tulip dc lily are all connected as flowers very good and nice and simple just one little thing is actor not actors Ooh. aren't oh, i being mean i wrote actors <laughs> oh, i'm I being mean actors, and there, I, and but I, it is and i and i read it <laughs> yeah you read it yeah but it is actor not actors <laughs> 
<laughs> but you've got all the categories correct. Well done. I think everybody did this time. Um, okay, Villa's not here. So I think, Hernan, you haven't done one. Would you like to read out what Villa wrote? Sure. Uh, I'm sorry for I, I missed my work. Ah, don't worry. Um, it's voluntary. It's okay. not homework. <laughs> Thank you. Doctor, surgery, nurse, ward. Wards uh, related to a hospital. Guitar, okay, yes, guitar, violin, saxophone, piano, musical instrument. Rose, tulip, daisy, lily, flowers. I like Bila, she always go straight to the point. Yep. Popcorn, <laughs> actor, director, ticket. Words related to cine uh, cinematography and a cinema. A uh, cinema, yeah, cinemas, I would say, generally. <laughs> So she's not always straight into the point. Cinematography and a cinema. Uh, by the way, guess what you just said for tulip? You actually went tulip. <laughs> yeah, well, I was trying to go British. Uh, All right, good luck with that. In my, uh, how I studied, because my origins in studying English was always British English, never American English. But I got corrupted in a way. I'm sorry. Yeah, everybody has, including people in the UK, honestly. <laughs> Okay, so um, then we've got Thanos. Have you got the mic today? Can you speak or are you in radio mood? No, okay, no worries, no worries, no worries. Uh, let me see. I think everybody else. Uh, I'm just trying to see. Did... Ah, I've lost my link. Ah, no, I've lost my link. Oh, there it is. Okay. Um, yeah, Cynthia did as well. So, who likes reading the most? Um, Paulette, could you read out what Truth wrote? Guitar, uh, guitar violin, saxophone, piano, musical instruments, doctor, surgery, nurse, ward, hospital staff or operations, Rose, tulip, daisy, lily, flower names, popcorn, actor, director, ticket, movie industry terms. Very good. I'm not sure if popcorn is a movie industry term. <laughs> um, but yes, uh, movies or cinema. Movies, remember, is American English, cinema, very British English. And um, we differentiate between cinema and theatre. Uh, Americans tend to talk about the theatre and you'd never know if they mean the movie theatre or live theatre. <laughs> Very good. Well done, Truth, if you see this uh, recording. Well done. OK. Um, Cynthia, would you like to read out My what turn. you wrote? Yes. Con, ticket, actor, director. Things related to the cinema, theatre. Guitar, violin, saxophone, piano, musical instrument, doctor, surgery, nurse, ward, hospital staff and staff, rose, tulip, sea, lily, flowers. Very good. Now, I'm going to be really pedantic here. Musical instruments, because it's a group. Okay. Uh -huh. <laughs> um, each of them is a musical instrument, you could say, but musical instruments, yeah, that's it. <laughs> and then you have got this, I love it, it's a lovely accent, but it's up to you if you want to take it on board. Uh, you do say things like nurse, ward, <laughs> stuff. Uh, 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 <laughs> what? It's Italian, what, what, what do you it's want? Italian, I know. That's fine. <laughs> It's charming. It's Which charming. One? Yeah, when you say nurse, ward and stuff, you add an a uh at the end. So you say nurse, ward, oh. stuff. <laughs> it's up to you. If you want to get rid of it, it would be a shame. But you are here for the pronunciation, so I thought I'd mention it. Uh, and don't be embarrassed. It's lovely. I love accents. Uh, but I know some people want to get rid of that. But yeah. Um, we had some guy. We had one guy who's uh, he runs a pizza restaurant. Sadly, he's far too busy to come to sessions now. But he was desperate to get rid of that, <laughs> and he couldn't. Okay, so, <laughs> but just so you know, um, 
Right, and then we've got knights. So let me see who is the first person to read. Um, yep. Hi, man. Could you read out what knight wrote? Sure. Don't you don't you want to lead the the new kid to do it? He he wanted oh, to practice yeah, more. Yeah, no? yeah, yeah. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, you can. You can pass it on. Jams, would you like to read out what knight wrote? Yeah, sure. Okay. Okay. Popcorn, actor, director, ticket. Things related to cinemas or movies. Doctor, nurse, surgery, ward. Avoid these at all costs. Guitar, violin, saxophone, piano. Avoid hearing me play these instruments. Rose, tulip, daisy, lily. Good topic to talk about with socks. Okay, so you might get from that that Knight's English is very good and he's got an excellent sense of humour. Okay, just the one word. Funnily enough, first time you were perfect. Second time you said director. It's director. Director. Try it. Director. That's it. It's not odd. You said it perfectly the first time round, and the second time round you went uh, into maybe you were concentrating harder the first time. You're like, oh no, I'm reading English. I must be perfect. And then you relaxed, and it was fatal. <laughs> okay. Any questions about uh, the words, about the groupings? I love the fact that um, if you don't know socks, socks is one of the bots who lives in a drawer. Mm. And is afraid of everything, he but he loves talking to Paulette about flowers. Okay. <laughs> yes. I love it. I love talking, it. About, you know, talking about flowers. I'm not sure about tulip, but the rest, they, I mean, they are all names too. I mean, they they yeah. are based on flowers, but they are all names. names? Rose, Daisy, yes. Lily. Yeah. I don't. I, I I never met anyone named. I've never tulip met anyone called Tulip either. Like, no. <laughs> But yeah, no, you're right. They're all people's names. And that's why I added Tulip. Because like, oh, they might think people, women's names or girls' names or female names. Um, yeah, Rose, Daisy, Lily. But they're all a little no, old fashioned now. Mrs. Bouquet. Yes, that's it. <laughs> She's got all of them. <laughs> yes. You might have to explain that, Paulette. Explain who Mrs. Bouquet is. <laughs> no, go on, explain. <laughs> I'm from from a, a, a series, a, a, a lovely lady from the UK, and her house is must must always be perfect, and she is known for her can her candlelight dinners. Yeah, she she's a terrible snob, she... <laughs> isn't she? <laughs> and and her <laughs> yes. I like her husband. Her husband is very long-suffering, I have to say. <laughs> He's a saint. <laughs> okay, I'm going to stop recording now, So just so you're aware.